If you have PCOS, you've likely heard about metformin. Has your doctor prescribed metformin? Will it even help your PCOS symptoms? And what are the side effects like? Let's talk about it. Hi, I'm Dr. Kim Somerville. I'm a medical doctor and a clinical nutritionist, and I help women manage their PCOS as well as their blood sugar. So what is metformin and how does it really affect or improve PCOS? So metformin is usually the first drug that is given to type 2 diabetes. And that's because metformin tends to do three main things. It reduces the amount of glucose or sugar as we know it that is produced by our liver. It also reduces the absorption of glucose from our gut into our bloodstream. And the main point that we want to think about here is that it improves the sensitivity of our body's cells to insulin. And if you know about PCOS, we know that about 70 to 80% of women with PCOS tends to be insulin resistant. And what that means is that our body cells are not really sensitive to insulin. So if PCOS usually has insulin resistance, then we want a medication that improves that insulin sensitivity and metformin can do just that. So what are the signs and symptoms that metformin can actually alleviate when it comes to PCOS? So the first thing that we usually talk about is weight loss. We find that when metformin is given to diabetics, it is noted that there is some amount of weight loss. But when it comes to the studies with metformin and PCOS, we find that weight loss usually occurs when combined with metformin and a low calorie diet plus exercise. It has to be a combination to really see the benefits from metformin in that respect. When it comes to periods, PCOS women tend to have really irregular periods. Either it is too long or it is really short and it doesn't come back for months. So we find that with regular use of metformin, women with PCOS also get more regular periods. And of course, we know that PCOS is one of the top causes of infertility with women who have it. So it's found that when metformin is used in combination with an ovarian stimulating medication, which just means a medication that increases the amount of eggs that are produced, we find that metformin tends to help that woman get pregnant as well. And two other things that metformin tends to help when it comes with PCOS is that it tends to reduce the amount of PCOS-associated acne. For those who have PCOS, you know that you may be able to have some acne along your jaw, on your chest, your back, sometimes your entire face, and it's very difficult to manage. But metformin tends to help with insulin resistance and also reduce something that we call androgens, which are certain hormones that can be produced more usually in people with PCOS. And that tends to reduce the amount of acne that is also associated with PCOS. And lastly, this is not really a symptom per se, but women with PCOS also may have an increased amount of bad cholesterol. And it is found that metformin, when taken over a period of time, reduces triglycerides and LDL, which are two of the bad cholesterols in our body. So it does sound like metformin does a lot for PCOS, but what are some of the side effects? Let's get into it. Now, if you've heard about metformin, you've likely heard NOSA, don't bother take that <laughs> because of the amount of side effects that it causes. And to be honest, yes, a lot of persons, sometimes 50% of persons will have side effects like nausea, vomiting, as well as diarrhea. Okay. Other possible side effects include abdominal pain, flatulence or passing gas a lot, being dizzy, and sometimes you can even develop B12 deficiency. None of us want that, but let's see how we can alleviate those side effects. Metformin has dosages going from as low as 500 milligrams all the way up to the maximum of 2000 milligrams. 
So to mitigate or reduce the side effects, we can always start at the lowest dose, which is 500 milligrams. Some doctors even prescribe 250 milligrams if the tablet can be caught. Right. So when you're at 500 milligrams, you want to take this for a period of time, probably one week, two weeks or even a month before going up to the other dosage, which is about 1000 milligrams. When this is done slowly, it tends to reduce the amount of side effects that you may notice. Another way to reduce the side effects of metformin is to take one of the tablets called extended release. It can either be denoted as metformin ER or metformin XR. And what happens there is that this tablet has a particular coating. As it is in your gut, it will be released slowly, hence reducing the side effects that is produced at that time. So definitely ask your doctor for this type of metformin if you're having side effects. And another thing that you can do is find a brand that works for you. There are many different brands of metformin and if one brand is causing a side effect, then possibly changing to another will also reduce that side effect that you are having. And lastly, one thing that I tell my patients or clients all the time, stick it, stick through it, stick it out because when you're taking your metformin consistently, you generally find that the symptoms go away. But if you take it for two weeks, break for two weeks, take it again, then break again, you'll find that the side effects are always going to be coming up because your body is not used to the medication. So I hope that helps. Now I spoke earlier about metformin actually improving the likelihood of getting pregnant for mothers who are trying to conceive. But is metformin actually safe to take during pregnancy? The verdict is still out on that, to be honest. It is found that when you're taking metformin, especially prior to pregnancy, it's found that it reduces the likelihood of gestational diabetes, pregnancy-induced high blood pressure, miscarriages, as well as preterm birth and preeclampsia. But we haven't actually studied adequately to find if metformin causes any complications with the baby after delivery. So that's something that you definitely want to talk to your obstetrician about to find out if metformin during pregnancy or before is right for you. So I always like to discuss how medications can interact with each other. These are not some things that we talk about widely, but I think it's important to share this information. So especially with metformin, you definitely want to make sure you're not taking metformin and drinking alcohol at the same time. What alcohol does, it increases the toxic side effects of metformin in the body and nobody wants that. Outside of alcohol, we should monitor these things as well when we're taking them with metformin. So that includes cinnamon, paroxetine, fluoxetine, and escitalopram. So all of these medications or supplements or herbs like cinnamon increases the effect of metformin. So let's say you're taking a dose of 500 milligrams. You're not actually diabetic. You just have PCOS. You might find that you're probably getting dizzy or a little lightheaded or having a headache because metformin is having a greater effect on your body. So just think about that when you're taking these anti-anxiety or anti-depression medications as well as cinnamon when you're combining them with metformin. And lastly, we have some types of birth control pills like ethylene, estradiol, estrogen conjugated synthetics, or medroxyprogesterone that may decrease the effect of metformin when you're taking it with it. So definitely consult your doctor, find out if the medications you're currently taking are fine when taken with metformin, and if it is, how to adjust the dosage with your doctor to ensure that you'll always be safe when taking medications. I hope this information was helpful for you today, but let me know, have you ever taken metformin for PCOS? Has it helped? 
what were the symptoms that it helped, what were the side effects that you endured, let me know. If you haven't taken metformin before and you're considering it, please let me know also if this information was helpful. If you want more information like this, you just have to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments. And please share if you think somebody could benefit from this information as well. As always, this is Simple Summer Naturals. Take care.